This building is being occupied because it belongs to a man uh, named Olog de, de Rapashka. Can't, my Russian's quite bad, I can't pronounce the name properly, but he's an oligarch who was sacked through. Uh, it belongs to a guy named Oleg Deripaska, who was an oligarch who was sanctioned by the British government last week. He has direct ties to Putin and once referred to himself as Putin's favourite oligarch. He also is connected to an investment firm, EN Plus, uh, whose chairman had to resign uh, because he was a uh, quite senior Tory politician. Uh, so we are, we are squatting this building uh, as a form of protest and solidarity with the Ukrainian people, with the Russian people who suffer under Putin, and all people who suffer under war. How long are you going to stay up there? Uh, we are going to stay uh, until uh, we are able to, until Putin stops the war and until we are able to house refugees. Um, because, for example, Dominic Raab, the Foreign Secretary, Dominic Grab, the Foreign Secretary, said that oligarch homes should be expropriated for Ukrainian refugees. So we are simply doing that. We are saving the taxpayer money. We are saying this man made his billions by shacking up with Putin and by warmongering. And we are saying that it is justice to give this building back to the very people whose suffering he profited of. How many people are protesting? Uh, there, there's about five of, of us up here now. Huh? Thousands, but there are thousands who, who uh, want to see this war end, who want to see a country that keeps refugees from mainly and does not give oligarchs and people who choose to hide their wealth and who choose to profit of misery a place.